Hey everyone and welcome to part two of our Shopify SEO overview. If you haven't watched the first video, I highly recommend watching that one first so that way you can figure out keywords and phrases so that way you can start implementing SEO and search engine optimization tactics into your Shopify store so you can start organically growing traffic without having to pay for it. This is basically going to come after all of those steps. So if you haven't watched that video, like I said, I highly recommend it and you can watch it at the top right corner if you click on the link that just popped up. In this video, we're gonna show you how to submit your sitemap to the Google Search Console. So that way Google will take your website, look at all the keywords and phrases on it, and then adequately rank it so that when people start searching for specific keywords and phrases that have to do with your store, you're gonna start ranking in the search results a lot better and a lot quicker than you would if you don't do this. Now, what's cool about Shopify is it already generates a sitemap, so we don't even have to worry about making one. But what we need to do is we need to log into the Google Search Console and go to search.google.com slash search hyphen console slash welcome. I'll have that link in the description below. And what we need to do is get our URL and choose between domain and URL prefix. Now the way Shopify is set up, we need to choose the URL prefix and we need to put our primary domain here. So whatever the primary domain is in your Shopify store is going to go here. So what we can do is we can go and look for that by logging into Shopify. And from our dashboard right here, we can go into our online store, go down to domains, and our primary domain is this right here. So mine is the Fountain Pen Emporium dot online. And I need to paste that here. Now since my site is secure, I need to put in https colon slash slash. Yours might not have the S, it might just be http colon slash slash. It really just depends on your site's configuration. Now before we do anything, we need to go in and make sure that our store is open. So if we go back to Shopify and go into our store, we need to go to preferences. Then we need to scroll down here and go to password protection. Now if our password is enabled, Google won't be able to get into our store because it doesn't have our password and this process will essentially not work. But once we're sure it's turned off, we can just go and press continue. And you're going to get this verify ownership pop-up. Now you can ignore this right here and go down to HTML tag. And right here, you're going to get a piece of code that you're going to have to paste into your theme file, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So in order to make sure you get everything, just press copy. And this is going to be put in your clipboard for safekeeping. So we need to go back to Shopify, go to themes. And under actions right here in our theme, we need to go down to edit code. And then we need to choose the theme.liquid file right here. And since it's already open for me, I'm just going to paste this right below this head tag. So I'm going to press enter and paste. And so this is going to submit our Google site verification. So that way, when we press verify, Google will go to our site, see this, and then say, oh, you put it here, you obviously have access. Make sure to press save before you do it or it's not going to work. And then we just leave our theme file and go back to the search console. So we press verify here. And as you can see, everything went well without a hitch. So we've got our ownership verified. Now we need to go to our property. And so since we're submitting our sitemap, we go into the left-hand menu and go to sitemaps under the index. And luckily Shopify has made this very easy by calling our sitemap sitemap.xml. So all we have to do is type in sitemap.xml and press submit. And so this basically says that Google is going to intermittently check your website for updates. So if you've added any more keywords or product listings or anything like that, it's going to keep checking. So we press got it. And as you can see under status, 
this has been a total success. And that's pretty much how you submit your sitemap to Google Search Console so that way you can start getting pushed up the results rankings a lot more organically because Google's aware of your site and it will constantly check your site for updates now that it's in the Search Console. But that's pretty much going to do it for part two. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comments down below. If you like the video, be sure to leave a like on it and press subscribe if you never want to miss another upload. But until next time, I've been Riley with Dropified. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Thank <laughs> you.